What is the impact of air pollution on our societies? Obviously, air pollution negatively affects human societies, particularly by damaging people's health. It has negative consequences for large numbers of people and therefore is a public issue that must be addressed. But human societies and human activities are also the main cause of air pollution in most parts of the world. In other words, we ourselves help to create the pollution that so dramatically damages our health and our environment. This paradoxical situation is even worse than it appears because air pollution very often contributes to more social inequality. That is, it alters the functioning of our societies, making them more unfair. This less obvious issue will be the focus of our concern here. In an increasing number of studies, there is growing evidence that air pollution may contribute to increased social and territorial inequalities. Social inequalities generally arise from economic determinants, including income, social status, employment and education, but also from non-economic aspects such as gender, age or ethnicity. Territorial inequalities refer here to the fact that people may be disadvantaged depending on whether they live in a developed or developing country, or depending on the typology of the living place, for example, a rural area, an urban zone, or near an industrialized site. Although data are still lacking, available studies indicate that people living in adverse socio-economic conditions are generally more at risk than well of social groups of developing physical diseases related to air pollution. So, what are the underlying mechanisms which lead from a degraded air quality to more social inequality? In simplistic terms, there are essentially two mechanisms. The first one is related to the fact that disadvantaged groups may be more often exposed to air pollution. The second mechanism is linked to the fact that disadvantaged groups may be in poorer health and therefore may be more susceptible to the illnesses caused by air pollution. In what follows, we will present some major outcome referring to different parts of the world. Of course, numerous studies are at present underway and this presentation is far from exhaustive. People may face different environmental health hazards exposition to a deteriorated air quality is one of them. Low-income countries generally face many traditional environmental health hazards, such as unsafe food and drinking water, inadequate sanitation, infections from animals, and poor housing. Whereas high-income countries cope with more modern environmental health hazards, such as outdoor urban air pollution from dense traffic and industry or chemical exposures. Therefore, the causes of air pollution are unlike depending on the development status of the different regions of the world. As stated by the World Health Organization, poverty creates ill health because it forces people to live in environments that make them sick, without decent shelter, clean water, or adequate sanitation. Also, poor people cannot afford or access health care when needed. Many recent studies carried out globally by the World Health Organization and the United Nations International Children's Fund, UNICEF, report the extent of exposure of children to air pollution in low-income countries. Nearly one in ten deaths of under five children is linked to air pollution. Indoor domestic air is seen as a major cause. It affects especially children, women, sick persons and elderly. However, the problem is particularly serious in low-income countries where indoor pollution is mainly related to the burning of solid fuels. At a global scale, more than 3 billion people rely on traditional use of biomass and other solid fuels for cooking. 
but the inefficient combustion of solid fuels in traditional fireplaces is a major source of particulate matter emission, extremely harmful to the fragile respiratory system of children and babies. According to the WHO, indoor pollution related to burning of solid fuels is causing the premature death of 1.6 million people worldwide, particularly in less developed regions of the world. Children and babies and the adults in charge are the first victims of this indoor pollution. There is an urgent need for helping people to get more efficient cook stoves, where a satisfying combustion of solid fuels can take place, saving fuel and saving lives by preventing air pollution. According to the World Health Organization, life expectancy in Africa was 60 years in 2015, below the global average lifespan of 71.4 years. There is growing evidence that air pollution is one of the top risk factors responsible for this shorter lifespan. Fine particles can be a major source of air pollution in this region. They come partly from the Saharan desert. Air pollution is also aggravated by human activities, such as deforestation and agricultural practices that lead to desertification. The other sources of fine particles in Africa are man-made. Large quantities of black carbon and soot are emitted by using kerosene lamps, by burning solid fuels, by using diesel to produce electricity and to power vehicles. The increasing level of fast urbanization exacerbates these problems. For example, the lack of appropriate waste management is the cause of very toxic air pollution through fires in rubbish dumps. Large and small-scale industrial activities also contribute to air pollution as in African industrialized arbors with oil refineries and gas flares. The extremely damaging effects of air pollution on the health of local residents is stated. However, air pollution in Africa is still largely unknown. Different studies explore the interaction among poverty, health and air pollution. They show evidence that poor and less educated people face worse effects from air pollution because of differences both in exposure and susceptibility. A higher outdoor exposure to air pollution is possibly due to living or working close to polluted areas such as road sites, waste dumping sites, polluting industry. Poor people may be more susceptible to air pollution because of a poorer health status due to insufficient or bad quality nutrition and lack of sanitation, among others. These socio-economic inequalities in health for most disadvantaged populations due to higher exposure to air pollution and to a limited access to effective health care are observed similarly in medium and high income countries. To conclude about the links between socio-economic determinants and increased exposure to air pollution, we first saw that groups with lower socio-economic position may receive higher exposure to air pollution due to both indoor pollution and outdoor pollution linked to polluting neighborhoods. Secondly, we saw that groups with lower socioeconomic position may experience compromised health status due to material deprivation and psychosocial stress. These groups may be more susceptible to the health effects of air pollution. Poverty is associated to a worse health status and a higher exposure to toxic air. It is the main socioeconomic factor which leads to an unfair exposure and adverse health outcomes of vulnerable groups. Fight against air pollution is therefore an ethical necessity.